Hello everyone, and welcome to the unboxing of this lovely little box right here. If you can guess what it is, can you read it? Yugi's Legendary Dex Collection 1. Thank you Konami for making such an amazing product. Now everyone can have all three of Yugi's Legendary Dex from Duelist Kingdom all the way through to I think the end of Battle City when he uh, fights the Pharaoh near the very end. Or is that a different arc? Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, I've, I'm rewatching the series again. Uh, so much nostalgia, I love it. The NGX is gonna be next. Because that was a good one too. Yeah, I just like hero monsters. What do you what do you want me to say? I love heroes. And that and Spider Man, I don't know what um Uh you were thinking. But let's see. You got some nice art of Yugi and the Pharaoh on the front. Nice and uh goldy chromey. Oh now it's camera's focusing. It's it was doing this uh, a couple days ago too. Let's see what you get in the back. Now you can do it with three, with all three decks used by the King of Games. Yugi's Exodia deck. Okay, that's different. You got Yugi's Battle City deck and Yugi's Gadget deck, which... Uh, were they the same? Or wasn't the, was the Gadget deck his Pharaoh deck that he tried to beat him with? Anyway, we got all three Egyptian God cards in their unplayable form. Just a novelty form that came in the uh, Shonen Jump booster. Uh, no, not boosters. The uh, one came in the Shonen Jump uh, manga magazine. I know that for sure. I think it was Obelisk, Raw and Slifer. I do not remember how you got those. Uh, you got your secret rare cards. All new. All three of them are new. Then you got three historical cards plus the Yugi token. So no way. You got. Glory of the King's Hand, you got a trip to Duelist Kingdom, you got a Duelist Kingdom invitation. No way, we got a. Okay. Trusty Swiss Army Knife. Boing! Come on. Just so it goes quicker, both sides. And let's rip! As I destroy my keyboard. My lovely keyboard! And my last video was weird because you couldn't hear heck of a lot of stuff. Going there. Oh, can you see it better now? I apologize. There we go. Some more art for you. Yep. Try opening this lovely box right now. Woo! Oh no! No way! Oh, oh, nostalgia coming right back. We got the promos up front. I just want to break into the Exodia deck right now. This is this is not normal. This is not normal. Grab the clock because I have to time myself for this. Uh, let's, let's get the promos over with real quick. All right. Oh, uh, secret rare too. Electromagnetic turtle. Dark renewal. And black illusion. Cover those in a couple seconds. Now we got set sail for Duelist Kingdom. Super rare. Nice. Duelist Kingdom invitation itself. Another super rare. And Glory of the King's Hand, by far my favorite card of this entire pack. Just because I'm a huge fan of Joey. And what he did to save his sister was insane. Plus it looks awesome. I mean, who doesn't want a bunch of gold plated everything and jewel encrusted everything? Then you got Slifer the Sky Dragon. Super rare, of course. I believe they all come in super rare. Hmm. Let's go inside real quick. Obelisk the Tormentor. Nice, nice. Super rare again. 
Again, unplayable form. Yeah. Yeah, raw. Super rare. Nice. Nice. Unplayable again. Just because it doesn't have the effect written down. Just has the uh, description of each beast written down. And I wonder, do they have the, uh, different colored packs? Oh, yes. Yes, they do. Okay. That pleases me. He's getting sleeved up right away when I get new packs to sleeve because I unfortunately forgot them. Uh, let's put the uh, guard cards over here real quick. These aren't too big of a thingy. Oh, why? They're kind of folded. Okay, let's fix this kind of gently. Kind of gently so they don't get messed up, but. Yeah, they're, they're really folded. They're really folded in. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. And then you got your uh, all-powerful Yugi token. Just you play this, it's like Exodia. You don't need anything. There's sacrifices. Drop this down, you you win. Nah, if that was the case, we'd all be using this pack, right? But that's kind of cool. And again, these are all just really folded in. I don't know why. Must be like a heat thing. That was. Come in the pack. Anyway, with the promo cards out. Yeah, the promo cards are just really awesome and what they are. We have sleeping these up. We're putting them in a binder. To be honest. I'm gonna go put the guard cards out of sight, out of mind. I'm just gonna look at them all the time now. And let's see. Electromagnetic turtles effect. During your opponent's battle phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard and the battle phase. This is a quick effect. You can only use this effect on of electromagnetic turtle once per turn. Alright, what's up? Bad Dark Renewal. Uh, if you want to pause and read that, feel free. Insane, just because for black illusion, I'm crunched on time. But I'm reading it right so wait until the end of this turn, all dark spellcaster type monsters with a thousand 2,000 or more attack you currently control cannot be destroyed by battle. Their effects are negated. Also, they are unaffected by your opponent's card effects. That's awesome. Alright, so promos out of the way. I think we're going to start with... Uh, I'm seeing Black Chaos right here. We're going to start with Yugi's Exodia deck. Alright, let's get this out of the way really quick. Really quickly. Downside of working on a disc. All right, hold on two seconds. Two seconds. And back again. All right, that was just a fluke on my part. Uh, let's, let's open. Oh. Love the smell of new cards. And old cards. I have a, uh, I have some surprise packs coming for you guys. I'm not gonna tell you what they are because they're my favorites. So, well, some of my favorites. So you got the Super Exodia legs, part Exodia parts, Exodia legs. Yes, because you got your right leg, your left leg, another left leg, you got another right leg. Uh, that's 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 nice. And these are the first. Time you get all four, ho all five hollows in one deck. Now that doesn't look awesome. I don't know what doesn't. Oh, look at that magic! Not to do anything with magic, but I'll leave Exodia to the side. Yeah, Black Luster Soldier. Yeah, Black Luster Soldier. Envoy of the Beginning. What? Okay. Dark Magician. Nice. Dark Magician Girl. Yeah, the Fierce Knight. Summon Skull. Curse of Dragon. Catapult Turtle. <laughs> Celtic Guardian. I remember I, I love this dude because he looked like Link. I'm not sure if he was based on Link by any means, but uh, 
Love him. Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Forest. Feral Imp. Beaver Warrior. Griftor. Whoa, that's a one I've seen. Mystical Elf. There's a story behind that. I, when I was a kid, I found this under the school bus. And no one was around, just on the ground, all covered in mud and water. But you know what? I'm gonna take this. And I did. And I think I still have it somewhere. I was like, what? Second grade at that point? Stone Soldier. Giant Stone Soldier. Giant Soldier of Stone. Oh my goodness gracious. Remember when he destroyed the moon for the sake of saving Yugi's butt? Mammoth Graveyard. Love that card too. Karibo. I can't do his high voice anymore, but that was Night and Bonds to Reborn. Swords of Revealing Light. Love that one as well. Mystic Box. That always messed with me as a kid. Just the way it worked in the anime. Brain Control. I think gets banned. Uh, Monster Recovery. That's a nice one. Spell Shattering Arrow. Horn of the Unicorn. Mystical Moon. Burning Land. Uh, you mix that with Curse of Dragon. Or Yugi did in the anime and just... It wrecked house. It was awesome. Multiply. Oh. I want to know what this does. With it. I know it multiplies, but I've only seen it used with Karibo in the anime. So, let's see. Tribute. One face up. Karibo. Yeah, special summon as many Karibo tokens. Field type. Dark level. Level. Attack. 300 defense. 200 as possible in defense position. These tokens cannot be attributed or a tribute summon. Tribute for a tribute summon. Okay, so it's like scapegoat, only you have like 16 bajillion of them. Alright. Then Nate, that's a nice one. Mike U, the magical mist. Or Mac U. Polymerization. I don't think they have polymerization though. Black Lusted Ritual, I love that. Mirror Force. Magical Hats. Eye of the Truth. Or the Eye of Truth. Shift. And Gaia, the Dragon Champion. Dragon confusion between Guy of the Fierce Knight and Curse of Dragon. So why is it the Curse of Dragon? I'm gonna put Jody back in this deck. I, I feel like he deserves it. I'm just not gonna lay him out because, again, it's just, just legendary decks. You don't need to know exactly what's in them, aside from me just going through them right now. I think for the next one we'll do the Battle City deck. I like Valkyrian. Valkyrian was a man. Or he could be the woman. Because women can be warriors too. Don't keep that. Maybe it's genderless. That's machine. Or is, is it a machine or is it considered a stone type monster? Earth, yeah. Earth, so it's. Oh, it's one of those. Ooh, Valkyrian, the manga war. No way! They have the evil dark. They have Arcana's evil dark magician here. That's. Well, not evil, just misused. This is immediately a favorite of mine. Another reprint of a uh, different art of Met Dark Magician Girl. Sword of Revealing Light. Mirror Force. Busted Blader. Art Fiend of Gilfer. Jack's Knight. Queen's Knight. King's Knight. Burfumet. Gazelle, the King of Mystical Beasts. Or Mythical Beasts. It should be mystical though. It sounds better. Alpha the Magnet Warrior. You got Beta. And Gemma. And of course, the effects of Alpha, Beta, and Gamma, you know, they form the POW. Yeah, it says Rock type. Okay. Big Shield Garden, I have a few of those. Karibo, Monster Reborn, Dark Magic Curtain, Thousand Knives. Oh, I love that one. Get yeah, Magic Formula, I think it's a hard one to pull. Or if you can even pull them nowadays, I'm not entirely sure. Again, don't quote me on any of this stuff. I've been reading up on uh, Yu Gi Oh stuff. Like the last couple months, I just decided I need to do this. I've had them for a while. Magical Dimension. Confusion Wave Motion. Okay. Uh, double Spell. Ectoplasma. I remember that was being used. That was a as an Arcana card for the win. Soul Taker. 
That was another good one. Part of the, draw two cards. Love that one. That was a Kaiba. Kaiba started that original, I think. Or did they all have Pot of Greed? I'm not entirely sure. So they got exchange, monster recovery, again, polymerization, diffusion, multiply, magical hats, magic cylinder, spellbinding circle, light force sword, and chain destruction with soul rope, tragedy, as well as chimera, the mythical, the flying mythical beast. Oh, nice. That will be the Battle City deck for you. Yoink. And for the last deck of this collector's pack, we've got come on, open, open. Yeah, I'm commanding you to open. As it rips off the back of this. <laughs> so you can't open it. I'm sorry guys, I can't do it for you. There we go. Don't you just love the smell of new cards, though? It's like, I don't know what it is. Oh, my trash is filled up right here. But the same with magic cards, like, I just smell them. They, they smell... Something about their smell, I can't... It is gonna be a vlog about smell, you know? Just, you know, Black Chaos. Remember when I was used to defeat Kaiba? Not Kaiba, sorry. Please do not... Take that seriously. It was Pegasus. Dark Magician of Chaos. Silent Magician level 8. Dark Magician Alternative Art. Gold Sarcophagus, nice. Gandora of the Dragon of Destruction. Silent Magician level 4. Silent Magician level 7. Silent Magician level 5. Level 3. All Science Swordsman. Dark Magician Girl, Alternative Art number 3. Buster Blader, of course. The Tricky. That's the effect in this one. It's special summon. Scar from your hand by discarding one card. Okay. Is that the only way you can special? Nah, okay. Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight again. And you get your gadget, green gadget, red gadget, yellow gadget. Oh yeah, you can special summon which whenever you take one of these guys that you can pull a green gadget from your deck or your hand and special summon it. So yeah. That's what the gadgets did. Okay. Skilled Dark Magician, Skilled White Magician, Block Man, because why not have a Lego Man in your collection? Marshmallow and I love this dude's effect because when it's attacked and flipped, your opponent gets screwed. Uh, Karibo again, Monster Reborn, Swords of Revealing Light, Card of Sanctity, that's a, that's a nice one. Polymerization. Dark magic. Dark magic. Dark magic attack! Uh, magicians unite. That's a nice one. Dedication through the light and darkness. Ooh. Black magic ritual. Tricky spell number four. Emblem of dragon destroyer. Marshmallow glasses. Okay. Mirror force. Magician circle. Shattered axe. Stronghold the Moving Fortress, Miracle Restoring, and Dark Paladin, no way! Ah, uh, one Dark Magician, one Buster Blader. 2900, oh jeez. What's the effect of this guy? Was I not on camera for the entire thing? Or was I half camera? I apologize for that. Okay, we got, must be fused, oh, uh, it's one of those things. Okay, so. It wasn't really an effect, or maybe. Is it effect? Yeah, this card gains your attack. Gains have an attack for each dragon type monster on the field or on either player's graveyard. Okay. So, yeah, that's a, that's a nice one right there. Okay, so. Let's get all the cards out here right now. Got the promos. We got God cards. We 
yeah, let's do all this kingdom. Alright, I think it's the first time they were printed too. Like, this is pretty anime accurate too. There's no description box, just like the anime. Just empty. And they're all awesome. And we've got the almighty Yugi token. So, is this pack worth it? Yeah, it's around 34 bucks right now on uh, Amazon. I'm sure you can pick it out at card shops a bit cheaper. But the price just keeps going up and up and up on eBay, and it's ridiculous. So if you want to pick one up, I suggest pick one up right now before it goes to 50, maybe even 55 in the near future. Because you get a full-fledged, super rare set of Exodia. Full set, as well as two Battle City deck, two, a Battle City deck and his Gadget deck from Yugi's collection, okay? To me, that's worth it. That is worth it, if not just for the promo cards itself. Just these made it for me as well. Always wanted everything in this collection. If you already have these cards, then you still, I say, it's worth the buy. You have a mint collection. You have multiple sets if you have multiple cards of it. So, if you wanted to have, what, like, Slifer, Obelisk, and Raw in your Battle City deck, and you're playing with your friends, and you know the effects, and what they do, as well as the other ones for proxy, just to make it fair, go for it. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoy collecting, don't let people take the fun out of it for you. Always make sure that you do it for what you want to do. If people try to say, oh, yeah, your collection's small, your collection's this, that, or the other thing, it's worse than mine. Don't listen to them. If you enjoy collecting, just do it. Just do it, have fun with it, and go for it. It doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be small. As long as you enjoy what you're doing, I promise you, it's worth it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you want to see more of this, that is. Jamie out. Bye-bye.